So if you've actually been following me for a little while, you've seen me messing with this bird bath for quite some time. Um, I am starting to primer the bottom of it. So hopefully I can finally get this guy finished up and get it out in the yard. I still haven't decided 100% how I'm actually going to paint him out, but I'm kind of leaning toward making it a very simple flower and actually putting my Frankenfrog statue in the middle of it. I think that might be kind of fun since it does have the platform on the other side. Now I am starting on the back side. Um, very simply, this side's just going to get a solid, one solid color. So I want to get it done before I flip it over and start on the front or top, however you want to call it. But what this does is it does actually weatherproof the concrete. It's going to seal up any small cracks that I might have missed. Lord knows this poor thing had a whole, whole lot of them. Uh, actually took a, an entire uh, pot of concrete repair to fix all of the cracks and patches. I'm not going to be, even on the other side, I'm not going to be making it perfectly smooth because I do want this to be a functional bird bath and generally those do better if they're not perfectly smooth and I may even be adding some bumps in so that there's places for things like the bees and smaller birds that we don't want to drown to, to go. I have a very healthy hummingbird population around here, so I definitely want them to have a space where they can go. So, this first coat will probably get almost completely absorbed. I've learned that, especially with old, older concrete. It is thirsty. It will suck up everything you put on it. And that is another huge reason why I do tend to do the primer coats. Is because it's really frustrating when you spend the time and effort to paint something really nice and pretty. And within a day it looks faded because the rock just soaked up every drop of paint you put on it. So... It makes a difference. I will say working on this gazing wall project that I've been doing, I have the utmost respect for those of you that work in clay. I do not know how you'd keep your sanity. It is so fussy compared to concrete. I've had to do so much more work trying to keep that ball together than I've ever had to do on a full concrete project. But the ball is on day two of drying and it's not falling apart so far this time. I've had a couple of cracks pop up, but you know, that's to be expected. So hopefully I can actually coat that in concrete. Um, Probably not next week because my boyfriend is coming home for a couple of days and bringing guests with him, so I probably won't be on a crazy amount next week. But maybe the week after, maybe I work on it some next week with actually having help for once. A lot of these things are kind of heavy and hard to move by myself, so. It'll be nice having some extra hands around, so you never know what might pop up next week. 
but I do have to move around quite a bit and I'd rather not make you guys seasick so I am going to end here. I will come back in when I'm starting on the next piece and I'll see you guys next time.